recon mission underway. <laughs> Welcome everyone to another season of Gaming Tuesday. After a short break, I'm returning now with this new season in anticipation of this fall's blockbuster gaming lineup. To start things off, this weekend I participated in the Call of Duty World War II beta and by just saying it was a lot of fun is an understatement. To me, this is one amazing game and it truly feels like Call of Duty 2 or Call of Duty World at War but with a fresh coat of paint and some amazing advances. This has been the Call of Duty that I've been waiting for for... Well, pretty much around the time that Black Ops 2 released. Even though I enjoyed this game, that doesn't mean I don't have some criticism that arose from my roughly 12 hours of playing it over this weekend. So to get started off, let's talk about the weapons, the core of any Call of Duty game. First off, I think that we can all agree that shotguns are overpowered. That's why they are an amazing weapon and can more times than not deliver a kill with a single pull of the trigger. However, I do not know who in their right mind would ever consider making a flamethrower or shotgun hybrid. Sure, I consider the logistics of it and I can agree that it is an awesome weapon, but I feel like it should be an earned score streak or something along those lines. Turning a shoddy into a flamethrower to me just makes it seem like a spray and pray multiple person takedown weapon. Next up, there seems to be a bit of a weapon balancing that needs to take place like with most new games when they get released. From my observation, the STG-44, the most common recurring assault rifle in World War II set Call of Duty games, needs a bit of a nerf for bullet damage. Also, the PPSH, although a very fast round per minute gun, seems to have its rounds a little bit overpowered, so I think the damage should be dialed back on those. These two guns for me seemed like a constant fallback whenever I was trying out a new weapon and it wasn't performing well, and I also saw a lot of other people using these guns in the game. As far as the maps go, they were all well crafted and it seems as though they included some areas in the event of a spawn trap but it doesn't really seem like they have any spawns set over there at this point in time. One other thing that I would change in relation to the maps is certain areas allow for one-way directional climb to reach another area where once you get there, you can't turn around and return to the spot that you just leaped from. I think that there's a few spots on a couple of the maps that could probably be changed around to where you could climb back up to those areas, especially with a perfectly timed jump. And with all that said, that sums up my Call of Duty experience right now. Enjoy these highlights for my first day of the beta and tune in next week as I talk about my new favorite game mode. If you agree or disagree with any of the things that I talked about, let me know in the comment section. Enjoy the rest of your day and thank you for watching.